Hey, black women, please excuse my attire. It is a little bit hot today in New York City. Um, I don't I don't mean to be disrespectful. Um, I have to tell you this because I had just seen this on the news today in um, New York, especially after coming from immediately just voting. There is a bill being passed now to try to regulate deep fake. And this is important because during um, the elections up to the primary and then the general election you will have quite a number of deep fake ads um out trying to convince mostly the um black community which is the highest number in america right and the black women group the highest to not go to the polls and not to vote for a candidate or Democrats in um, November so as they are and if you are a person that is an engineer of any kind or interested in AI and you know how to work it I suggest you go to the government um, the FBI and um, any other entity that is looking into regulation for AI and submit an application for a contract to help them um, shut down AI and the fake deep fakes all over the place um, They only have one program that I am familiar with that can actually um, recognize deep fake to 95% of the time which is called fake catcher So if you are not sure about a certain advertisement video, etc do do yourself a phase a favor and uh, either get the app or go on the website for a fake catcher the information and find out how you can apply it to that video So that you can find out if it's deep fake or not what I've noticed is that Pretty much deep fake is not that Incredible to the point where you cannot Determine I know I can see it right away, right? If something is fake or not because it tends to give white people like this overly fleshy type look as if they are fake <laughs> right and what it tends to do to black people is that it does not give the correct um coloring or needed texture of the melanin in our skin like and you have to understand why right so white people don't know anything about black people's melanin as much as they try they like to think that we are literally equivalent to the blackness of my remote right here right which is not um they don't understand that black people have undertones like when i put this to my skin i am a dark-skinned person with yellow undertones and the reason being is because you see the warmth in my face next to the darkness right now if it was vice versa right when I put something warm next to my face, okay, it would like do the opposite. So if um, I have red undertones, it would immediately like cool and it would act it would actually show like a, a match. Like, you know, like when you put your clothes together, you're like, oh, this red shirt would look so nice with the yellow, same thing. So now if I was, um, how can I put it, had red undertones, this thing right here would give my face like an orangey kind of look right and if I, I was a person with very cool undertones everything i put next to my face would give it like a, a gray or bluish type of tint where the only things that would look nice on my skin would be oranges reds anything that was opposite on the color spectrum of blue all right so these are the things they don't know about us and then you have black people with pink undertones, depending on their, their complexion. Yellow, it's usually yellow, pink, red, and blue. Okay? So I'm a yellow undertone. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that my skin is quite blotchy, right? And that happens because of the sun. Like the sun is out now. So wherever you see the blotch, the mask on my face, like the, the lighter spots, that's where the sun is always hitting that shit. <laughs> right and kind of like bleaching it because not every black person gets darker in the sun sometimes what the sun does is messes with your pigmentation which is i'm that type of black person because i've actually had skin cancer before so anyway the parts that are over here that are left darker or get darker is because the sun is not making enough contact 
and if you can see with my face like my cheekbones seem to protrude a bit more than right underneath the eye which tends to be a bit more sunken so of course the shadow is cast and the shadow is allowed to stay because of the eye overlapping the, the um the indentation the lashes and the eyelid so this part is constantly shaded constantly um provided protection from the sun whereas this part is like pushed into the sun and it's like hey catch these cheekbones and and light them on fire and the tip of this nose and and the, and the angles down from the tip of the nose and then you can see here like where the darkness above my lip is the same and then under here it where it indents under the lip because even though i don't have the appropriate and normal amount of juicy ass beautifully voluptuous black lips i got a little bit <laughs> i wish i had way more right do you know how fine i would be with the so-called dick sucking lips okay i'm just saying like those are the to me those are the best looking fucking lips in the entire world but okay you you, you know it is what it is you gotta take what you got and work with it right but all that stuff like all this blotchiness and everything is from the sun hitting you and i say all of this because whenever you look at the deep fake people whether black white or whatever they have like the most smooth doesn't make sense unnatural looking skin especially when it goes by whatever person you're looking at and for black people no matter what color you are our skin is never ever entirely one color all over our body our face is usually darker than the body the legs depending on how much you expose them to the outside can either be the darkest part of your body or the lightest like with me i'm a person that is very modest about showing off my skin unless i'm about to climb on top of you right so i don't usually like flash my thighs and stuff like that to outside because they're very nice but anyway i just <laughs> i just don't do it right so i wear pants i wear long dresses i don't show flesh so those parts are are much lighter right than the ones that than the parts of me that constantly get the sun so i'm saying all of this to tell you when you are looking at things regardless of foundation makeup and all that shit, you as a black person should know how other black people look you know that we sweat so when we sweat like i'm a person who sweats in the face a lot there is a, a you see this glisten that's already on my face and i've only been talking on this video for like a few minutes the heat the the temperature of my body is rising already so that i'm perspiring whether you see it or not and my face is getting like this serious glisten all over the place as i'm sitting here i don't know if you noticed that but those are the things that happen with real life people so when you're looking at these videos keep all that stuff i talked to you about in mind not everybody is a heavy sway sweater face sweater like me some people have a cold face but maybe their neck sweats a lot so all these things you look for because these are everyday real things that happen with real people where if you are not some deep fake fucking image you're not going to be perfect the whole amount of time you're making a video or you're involved in some type of activity and you're being recorded it's just common sense y'all so you know how there are some people when they talk that nasty shit happens where they get that white shit in the corner they they mouth oh that's like the grossest for me but there are people like that there are people like me who have lips that are fucking weird like no matter how much lipstick i put on on the outside look the inside where it meets your teeth this shit never stays i guess my mouth is that wet or just my flesh doesn't absorb the lipstick on that part where I gotta constantly be reissuing lipstick on this part all fucking day long otherwise it will look like this two-tone the lipstick color and then my natural lip color and that happens every day all fucking day to show you that i'm a real flesh and blood person and also too that thing right there that clamminess that you hear the smack because that's the perspiration right so even though i'm not out here funking up the place it's the fact that think about all these things in real time and in real life whenever you're dealing with people on videos or watching videos and shit like that and i say that because i get aggravated with the dumb shit white people do with that deep fake because i was highly fucking insulted the other day when they did that porn video of meg the stallion and it is just reminiscent 
and totally typical and um just you know like indicative of white people's fucking ridiculous sexual fucking fantasies and infatuation with black women's bodies like this woman is fine as fuck and she is the traditional black woman most black women when we do what our mothers and grandmothers teach us to do eat a certain way take care of ourselves a certain way drink plenty of water sleep rest don't get involved with dumb men that cause you stress and drama and even though y'all are going to sit out there and try to say they haven't told you this you're a goddamn liar because that is exactly what our culture is based off you can go back into any black movie that you can think of and there will be a scene where an older black woman is trying to give a younger black woman guidance proper guidance at that so that is part of us whether we choose to listen or not that's another fucking thing and whether we choose to decide to identify ourselves with white people's terminology and identities to try to get us to pit ourselves against each other with calling ourselves stupid shit like millennials gen z's all the rest of the shit when you stop doing that dumb shit you will realize that there is no separation among us besides the fact that each one of us is going through the natural process of aging and when you can identify the characteristics of what happens to real bodies in real time without all the makeup without all the foundation without all of the um sunscreen without all of the everything to pretend like we're all so perfect it's okay to be imperfect i'm as imperfect as it comes and i love every flaw and imperfection about me and i hope you do the same about yourself but i wanted to distinctly point those things out for you to realize when you see deep fake when you see it because they are going to damn sure come after us because they want these racist white republican men and women to win so that they will be able to control our future for the rest of eternity understand what i'm saying you guys if donald trump becomes president which i doubt that he will because most people in this country have more sense than the white racists that follow him right and the ignorant black people who follow him as well but this dude is smart enough to know that supreme court is 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 currently because we could change this in the future if we wanted to is a lifelong position if he gets enough younger racist white people who believe in all of this evangelical bullshit with the church and trying to dictate to every leave my slippers every person in the country how they should live their lives who they should fuck who they should marry how many children they should have how they should live their lives what they should do within their lives and most fucking importantly what they should do with their own motherfucking bodies once he gets enough younger assholes like that appoints it to each federal judge position that is available each supreme court justice that is available because clarence thomas and that leo Le uh, what's his name the asian one they're trying to retire so if you put some young white racist motherfucker in their place instead of having an 80 year old deranged racist motherfucker whether they black or white now you're going to have a 30 40 50 something year old motherfucker that has the life expectancy of another 50 to 40 years to terrorize people so you don't want that you don't want to for this white racist clansman to put another clansman on the supreme court for the next half of a century the next 50 years because them white motherfuckers be dying at like 80 90 something years old and why because they leave such live such a plush fucking life they have everybody cooking for them so that they have a perfectly balanced um diet they have the best doctors that can remove all types of things like aneurysms and pull out varicose veins and do everything to keep these motherfuckers alive whereas you and me we out here fighting and grabbing at everything we could get just to keep us fucking alive and they get the best of the best just to keep all the rest of us oppressed and suppressed so worry about the deep fake worry about the misinformation that is going to take off heavy especially within the last four months close to well i should say last three months close to the um actual general election so that's going to be like in august in august should i say august no i should say yeah august 
in August, you're going to see all this dirty shit coming from out of nowhere, trying to blame everything wrong with America on black people. All of that shit will resurface again. Because what they're going to try to do is they're going to watch these phony ass fucking, um, what do they call these shits? These polls they put out and surveys. And half of this shit is not even true. And they're going to always try to tell you that the white people are women winning. The, the white racist Klansmen are winning versus the people that want to do the right thing. That's every year. They do the same shit all the time. And then they end up losing the election, which is the best thing. So, but anyway, you're going to see all of this take off. So I want you to be prepared to keep in mind that this is what's going to be happening. But you go and research fake catcher. Find out how you can either put it on your phone or your computer. So that when you are watching things and you're not sure, is this real? Because the first time I even got a glimpse, I didn't even watch the video about Meg out of respect. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is not true. She would not do no shit like this. And this is just white men and white people in general attacking the virtue and the fucking character and humanity of black women once a fucking again. They have been doing this shit ever since they dragged us over here and found us here. They're really fucking diabolical savages that have a, a real fucking issue with the fact that black people are just so great and that we exist. And you have to come to grips with that. So that's one way to find this deep fake shit and to make sure that what you're looking at is actually something real that a person probably made some really bad fucked up judgment in doing something or another racist bastard trying to make somebody or a group of people look terrible to the rest of the world, you know, and they continue on with their anti-black movement. So keep this shit in mind because you're going to see it pump up heavily in late October because we outside right now it's summertime you me and everybody else is thinking about what the fuck we doing outside we ain't giving a fuck about a lot of these um elections even though we should i voted today so i did my civic duty right however see that when i did that too you see the color contrast you see the juxtaposition of my own real skin that's the shit i'm talking about on deep fake do you see all three you have the blotchy of my face the solid coloration of my hands that get hit by the sun all day every day the extreme darkness and then you see the yellowness of the brown skin that is usually under a t-shirt under a shirt that doesn't get exposed as much so all these things you look for with the deep fake okay because this is a real life person right here real life i don't hide behind avatars or any of that shit you see me you've been seeing me from day one so you know i'm real anyway this is what you gotta look out for but back to the point i made before i um digressed into that shit they know we outside they know we are preoccupied with all types of marches parades events and everything that's happening where you live like girl black women calling all black women tomorrow in new york city it is black restaurants week dot com just like that black restaurants with a s dot com no i did that wrong sorry black restaurants week dot com that is the week where every black restaurant in new york city is giving discounts to come to their to um discounts coupons and promotions to come to their restaurant to try it out to try to gain more customers and build up their you know their 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 existence in society let people know hey we're here we're here come come let me tell y'all something you know me um born new york city native but my people my my women folk are from louisiana florida right and wyoming and my male folks are from mississippi and many other southern parts and my dad is from the gullah islands all right saint anne as a matter of fact so all us people, we like real good Southern food. You come here in New York City or if you live in New York City, go to the Louisiana restaurant. It is owned by a Louisiana Creole man like myself. And all Creoles ain't light skinned, half light, look damn near white. Because it ain't about color, it is a culture. Because I am a full blood Creole. So anyway, his, um, what's the name of his, his, his restaurant? Is it? 
Denial. Hold on, I wrote it down. I want to tell y'all the name of this this boy restaurant. Where did I put it at? Oh, I wrote it in my bag when I went to um went to the vo went to vote. Give me one second. Let me go to my bag. What's the name of this boy's restaurant? Yeah, did I say it right? Yeah, Black Restaurants with a S Week dot com. Oh, his restaurant is called Phil. Phil Restaurant. Or some people say File, but it's Phil. Phil, Phil in French means girl, lady, like that. Or you say, on Phil, you Phil, right? When you're speaking, you're talking about a girl, or people know, oh, you're talking about her over there? Phil. All right, so anyway, um, it's F I L E. He's spelling it English way, because in French it's spelled differently. It has a double L. But anyway, that's not that's not a big difference or matter right now. But because that is my culture, my mind always goes in and out of the language, how to write it, read it, and the difference between English is it's just part of me. Sorry about that. Right? So anyway, um he was actually on New York One trying to promote his restaurant and um he has all of the traditional Louisiana Cajun food and he has traditional like um creole food but i really think i think he said he was cajun so go check out this food because there's a big difference between black cajun and black creole food in louisiana like uh you guys are real familiar with the creole food gumbo etouffee jambalaya you you know that shit but the cajun food is different and i don't really know their names off the top of my head so go find out but what i will tell you is because they cajun and most of them is like water people swamp and um uh bayou people they love they shrimp baby shrimp fish they like to do sauces peppers and rice all types of rice muddy rice black rice um and any type of rice you can think of they good for it all right go check out that restaurant because i'm damn sure gonna go okay um also, if anybody in New York is interested in spiritual whistleblower, I think I'm going to try to make it too. But I think on her, her, her YouTube page, she talked about her different events. She's going to be in the Brooklyn Bridge Park, y'all. I think the end of June. So whoever wants to go with the meet and greet, go check that shit out. And don't forget that Juneteenth is next week. Or this coming week, whatever. So... They're going to have all the Juneteenth events across the five boroughs. So, y'all better go. <laughs> all right? So, but, um, yeah, back to the main shit at hand. Listen, don't let these white people trick you now. Hoodwink you, okay? Run amok and lead you astray. Vote for the benefit of black folks. When you usually vote for the benefits of black folks, usually everybody else is good. All right? Right now in New York City, there are a few things for us to think about. Due to all of the migrants that came to New York, there are several bills on the floor to be passed to change the status of New York as a harbor city. Meaning, this might not be the safe haven it used to be for everybody. And that causes a problem not just for migrants, but also for our other black women and other women in other states that want to come to New York to get an abortion. So I'm telling you this because I want you to understand everything that goes, goes with losing a harbor state, right? So don't be so quick to go, yeah, 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 because we don't want to have Hispanic migrants and we just want, don't want them here. Always understand that the thing that you don't like the most is always going to take several other things with it that you enjoy and that you really need the most. So always keep that in mind, okay? And when or if they have any proposals or propositions on the ballot or they come around and ask you for surveys in your neighborhood, they do that a lot where I live, right? Keep in mind everything. Don't just immediately go off of bias, racial hate or whatever and understand that there are ways of resolving things without tearing the whole shit down. But you know, when you're dealing with politics and people who wanna get into office, they will do whatever it takes to get people to go along with them or they will, you know, drop their 
personal integrity to go with what the the general masses of people say just just to get in office so i understand how you feel i understand all of the issues that come with all these migrants in new york because i i live here and i work with them and i work for the city so i get it but at the same time i know that if we totally say we don't want shit to do with them in new york city and stop them from coming here you also will stop black women hispanic women asian women poor white women from other states that need to come here for an abortion and that's that's the most important thing i'm thinking about when it comes to the harbor state uh, other women that may need an abortion and they can't get it where they're from and they have to literally come here this is the only place they can get it so even though i'm not trying to sway your opinion or change your mind i just want to give you something else to think about okay so that maybe if someone does ask your opinion on the matter you can give them more of a, a thought out response and more empathy and empathetic approach instead of being really apathetic to people who just looking to get shit for their life the same way we all are and that's again neither here nor there for anything just having you think outside of the sometimes highly emotionally charged of public opinion okay all right so listen now that i didn't talk to you about everything in the world besides deep fake right Keep in mind that deep fake is on some bullshit and it's going to really ramp up. They do everything, y'all. They give you robotic bullshit phone calls with the person's voice on it, making you think that it, it is them telling you not to go vote. Watch out for that. They also do shit like um, making videos like they did before with the black women hub hugging on Trump when that was not real. They do shit like that. Um, they make videos of Republicans denying the things that they have already proposed and are trying to set up within the senate and the congress that is literally written out and mapped out in the project 2025.org please read that y'all please know how they trying to set up women and take all our rights away from us and how they don't want us to have any freedom education or black women to be able to vote this is what they want they want to take all the rights away from women because white men feel like they need to be in control. And then you have the ignorant black niggas right behind them thinking they want to be like white men, wanting to control and harass, dominate and traumatize black women and girls. Even though none of us women are going for that shit. But if they write the laws into effect, we have to circumvent and work around those motherfuckers, which makes our lives harder. So if we stick together as women, all women, black women and other women of color, just don't vote these motherfuckers in. Vote in everybody else who's got some right sense and not trying to kiss the ass of white people so that all of this Republican thinking they could just do whatever the fuck they want, fuck over everybody who's not white, will just get their asses kicked and they go away. It's that simple. And then all of you who really are aggravated and have a strong opinion about this please log on to your voter page or website in your state county or city and learn how to run for office yourself and to give everybody black people of color and poor white people a fucking voice in this goddamn country that's trying to like smother us out of the political engagement okay all right y'all and the voting process i forgot so have a good day survive the heat like i'm trying to i'm about to go put on some nails on my feet y'all i got these really nice press on nails y'all i'm about to put them on with some glittery fucking um sandals and one of those um ballooned um bottomed or ballooned hem skirts with a really nice crop top and i'm gonna be outside showing people that oh women 50 and over got four packs i ain't got the six pack yet but i'm trying to get there <laughs> so uh, i'll be out there I went and got me some new exercise equipment. Um, yeah, I got a squat machine, y'all. And I went today to Mandy's and I got like a whole bunch of cute little workout outfits. I'm, I'm gonna be doing the damn thing. I ain't gonna rest until I get that extra two levels of 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 um pack on my stomach and get that shit rock hard, pull it in a little more, get rid of the last roll I got on my back. And I'm gonna be dynamite, you hear me? Yes. I'm trying to be like, what's that that other black lady name on here? Melissa somebody. You ever see her? The muscle lady on YouTube? Melissa something. I forget her name. The British lady. Biracial British lady. I'm trying to be like her. Okay? 
I'm also trying to be like all the old black women on here, 70s, 80s, muscled down, doing their competitions. Steph's trying to get like them. I don't know if I'm going to do competitions now, but I'm damn sure I'll get that body. And I'm on the way, baby. I'm on, I'm on the way. I'm, I'm so fucking happy I'm on the way. You hear me? All right. <laughs> now I'm going to calm down just a little bit. I'm going to go because I have so much fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> go vote y'all all right take this shit seriously because it's like a war right now in america with the crazy fucking racially in, um in charge enraged white people versus everybody else with some fucking sense okay so please don't let them racist fucking clansmen win you other people do not know the fucking terror and fucking like how can i even put it like martial law that this motherfucking country can invoke. These motherfuckers have put people in concentration camps and all types of shit. You do not want all those racist motherfuckers in power. You will never have freedom again in this country. And you will be leaving it to go back to your own. And taking me with you because I ain't staying here either. But anyway, vote, 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 vote. And then vote some more. See y'all later. Have a good day. Naya, you want to say bye? Say bye, Naya. Go ahead and talk. You know how to talk. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, say bye. Come on. Naya, say bye, y'all. Say bye, Naya. Naya, say bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay. Get, the, get off of me. <laughs>